Hey everyone, it's Larry joining you again from um, LC Model Ship Building. Uh, this video we get through putting uh, down some cannons, um, putting the captain's quarters and uh, gallery in the back all together, and uh, basically just uh, doing some detail work. Um, so I go through showing how all the cannons get mounted down and uh, rigged up. Um, the end I kind of get a little bit carried away onto a piece of uh rigging for the uh for the uh sail or the extra sail yards um that go on the deck but uh other than that um hopefully it's informative definitely got a lot of new people on the channel so um welcome if you're new and uh thank you very much for subscribing if you have all right without further ado let's get started okay so I've been working on our cannon uh cannonades um, they're coming out nice, um, basically just, uh, gotta get all the wheels painted and then glued on. Um, these unfortunately have a lot of flash in them. I mean, if, if this were not my model, if I were doing this for a client, I would highly recommend getting the, uh, the brass ones just because these are absolutely not good. Um, you can see even on on the um the carts i mean there's flash all through it the wheels just aren't straight there's lines through them from from the cast or not the casting but the uh injection process so luckily they're going to be on the lower deck they're not really going to be visible um aside from the barrel sticking out so i'm going to live with them but like i said if i were uh doing this for a client it would definitely get photo etch on it I mean no question about it um, I'm gonna go on because I'm getting sick of working on cannons right now and start to do the officers quarters here and looking at it there's some detail along the uh, along the walls here and uh, what I want to try to do I'm gonna spray it with white and then see if I can't scrape the raised edge off to bring that detail back out and kind of make it look like a paneling type deal. Um, there you can see it better because that would be the inside of the cabin. But um, I think that'll be a pretty cool detail if I can make that work. So we're gonna see what happens there. I do see a painting of, looks like the Constitution right there. Um, we'll see what we can do with that. So I'm gonna try to spend some time on this. I mean, being at the back of the deck not the deck, but the, um, the back of the ship does fold down. It would be cool to be able to see these. So we're going to see what we can do with it. All right. Well, I'm going to paint them quick and then uh, stay tuned. We'll be back. Okay. Like I said in the last segment, I was going to try to um, etch these. So what I did was just paint them with some Tamiya white, flat white, and uh, just running a running a curved blade across it and um, it's giving me giving me the look I'm looking for uh, this will work I know I took a look at pictures of the real ship and uh, they are not brown but that's okay um, I think they'll kind of give it a little bit of a uh, a little bit of definition in there which will look pretty good so I just think it'll be good the doors in the real one are white, so I'll keep them. And again, it could have been changed over the years too. So a couple little spots I'm gonna have to touch up, but uh, not a big deal. It's the one bad thing with Tamiya paints, it flakes very, very easy. They look great, they lay great, they spray great, but they flake. <coughs> Okay, so a little bit of touch up on that one. <sighs> These mold marks, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to bother trying to get into them or not because you really won't see it too much once once it's assembled. I'm just kind of looking at it from this angle. And uh, I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile. I'll probably fix these real quick and kind of fill them in with a little bit of um, putty and then I'll respray this. But these side ones, I'm not as worried about. They're they're really not going to be that visible. So along the top here, 
Again, same kind of thing, just angled a little bit and run the blade right across it, just enough to get the paint off of the, the raised markings. And the molding line, that comes off pretty nice and easy, a pretty straight shot through. I guess the other way you could do this is hitting it with a wash, but uh, the only problem with the wash, then you're going to get some of the flat white areas marked darker that you don't really want. So this will work. It's giving me the effect that I want. Okay, so I'm going to finish this one up and then uh, I'll pause it and work on fixing that one and repainting it and uh, get the other ones kind of scratched out. Touch up these little marks that I'm hitting on accident as I'm going. And then we'll paint the, uh, the table and the furniture for in the cabin, which it came with couple little things, nothing major. I don't think there was a lot in the real ship either. Because naval ship, it's not exactly a, a pleasure cruise, so they're going to run pretty minimal. Just don't want to hit that little marking from the molding. Amplify it any more than it already is there. I hope that turned out good. Okay. All right. So got a couple of spots right there and there and there. Touch up. One back here. One right there. And one right there. So I'll get that touched up. Like I said, I'll start fixing this, and uh, I'll come back. Be back in a bit. Okay, so I have gone ahead and painted the first coat of what will be our oak for our um, dressers and little window partitions on both of them. Um, letting that dry for a minute, and then I'm going to hit it with a darker brown kind of just brushed on lightly um, to get the effect of uh, wood grain. Um, as you can see, I pretty much got all of my, my edging done that I wanted to do. And uh, I filled in a little bit in here. Can't get it perfect because uh, I'll lose the wood grain on the walls, but um, it, it's better than it was. So we'll uh, kind of leave it at that. Um, now I'm just going to work on painting the painting on the wall back here, which I'm guessing was the Constitution, like I said earlier. That's at least how I'm going to paint it and try to depict it. Um, I'm going to say that the frame on the other wall here, right there, is a mirror. I don't know that for sure, but it's clear, not clear, but uh, flat. There's no engravings on it, so we're going to make that into a silver mirror. And then these two over here, that looks like some kind of military swords possibly on there, or a mountain. No, I guess it's more of a mountain. Yeah, that's a mountain, so we're going to put some sky on that too. And uh, then we'll paint the mountain scene there. And that one also looks like some mountains, maybe a river, so we'll get that painted on. Um, all right, so there's our blue, clean the brush. Just 
Just waiting for that brown to dry up so we can do some uh, do some dry brushing onto that and get the look that we're looking for there. Um, let's see. For the mountains, we're gonna go a darker green. We'll make it look kind of like it's uh northeastern forest boston type area got the ship and i'll need some white for sails which i already got all right so mountain do that quick This paint might be... Oh, no, it's all right. All right, so I'm just kind of trying to get the detail on there to give it the look that we're looking for. And again, you won't really be able to see this too closely so it doesn't have to be perfect but at least try to get the effect okay i'm going to say that's a river kind of at the base there so we're going to do that a darker blue Picasso couldn't have done better. Joking. Alright. Now we'll hit the bottom of the ship quick. The blue's just about dry. And now we'll do a darker blue for those, for that river scene, whatever you want to call it. So we got our darker blue here, and that's going to be our river. Maybe I'll put a couple clouds in there too, just for effect. But yeah. Okay, all in all, not bad. brush oh, my compressor okay now we're just gonna use a little bit of white for the sails make a couple clouds and we'll call this about done so I'm just gonna take a touch and the sails will kind of be right there Oh, that was bigger than I wanted. All right, I'll have to touch that up with some blue. A little cloud there. And one over here and there. 
Okay. So, that's okay. Now it looks like we're just about dry on our cabinets, wrong lid. So we're going to do some, some brush lines to make wood grain simulation. And for that, I'm using acid brushes, which have a little bit more of a coarse bristle to them. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit shorter because the bristles are very long on these. This has worked in the past for me to get kind of a good wood grain effect going. And it's just flat brown testers, nothing special. Just wipe it a little bit on the paper towel. Alright, let's see how this comes out. I give it a little bit of pressure. And these bristles might be a little bit coarse. I might have to change up to a different brush. Yep, they're a little too coarse. Not liking the effect. All right, no biggie. So, I'm gonna go with this brush. Same thing though, we're gonna kinda dry brush it on. That's much better. I don't want much paint, just a little bit. So, a lot of the deck has some wood, wood grain on it too that I'll end up doing the same technique with once I, uh, get to that point. We're gonna hit it with just a little bit of black too after this just to kind of highlight the edges. Then I want to get these little window partitions that are in here. Okay, I like that. I'm not gonna bother with the back side because you will never see it. The only way you'd be able to see it is peering in through the side windows, which are extremely small. So it'll be good enough. Don't want too much. If you go too much, it will kill the effect that you're going for. Good. Just get the window partitions, we'll hit a little bit of black, and then it'll be time to start gluing the captain's quarters, or gallery, whatever you want to call it, onto the deck. Okay. 
Okay, a little bit more, and we're almost there. All right, great. All right, now we're just gonna do the same thing with the black. This was this will be just a little bit lighter touching with it. I definitely don't want it to show up much at all. Okay. And it'll help get these kind of um the fixtures that would have been on the front of the drawers for the uh, dresser here. Okay, I don't think I'm going to bother with the black on the, well, yeah, I'll give it a little hit. Doesn't hurt. It'll help give it a little bit of texture as well. Okay, let me just finish up this last one, and then I'll show you them a little bit closer up. Okay, so they don't have to be perfect, but there we go. Kind of, let me kind of give it that oak look that I'm looking for. It looks a little bit worn, but not too bad. The other one seems to look pretty good. Once it dries, it'll be flat. Not bad. And then, like I said, I gotta just fix the painting a little bit but you can kind of see where I went with that so I'm gonna pause it a minute and uh, bring the ship back over and it'll be time to start putting that together okay so we got the ship back up we're going to go ahead and start to glue in the walls which basically run pretty easy they have uh, markings and the scale decks made the markings in it, so shouldn't be too difficult to get them in. So just run a little bit of glue along the flange on both sides, and I'll put a little bit along the edge. It's a little bit more than I want. So, I'm going to come in from the front. I think that was the best way. I tried dry fitting it twice, so that seemed to work. Yep, here we go. Seems about right. I'm gonna put a little touch of glue right there on each side. Okay. 
seems pretty solid. I think that actually is supposed to go like that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now the next part is our partition wall. And they go over by the windows here. So, again, I'm going to test fit that, which seemed okay. first time. Hmm. Actually, I think that flips. would make less sense, but I'm going to double check the directions before I glue this, just because it doesn't really feel like it's riding exactly how it should. Yeah, no, I think we are. All right. Alright, let me pause just for a minute, refer to the directions, and I'll be back. Okay, that was correct, so we're going to go ahead and continue putting our walls in on the, uh, on the uh, quarters here. So, this one goes right there. Yep, just need to glue it. And I did realize, I didn't mention when I was painting the other interior pieces, I didn't show the little bed and uh, couch that's there. I am missing one of the beds. Um, on the bright side, you won't really notice, I don't think, because uh, it goes on the inside of um, one of these rooms. And if I do find it, I can just add it very easily. But... In the meantime, I'm going to just live without it. it. won't be too big of a deal. So, let's get that in there. Alright. I don't like how that sits. The model actually does not fit together great. Ah, there we go. It's not pushing hard enough. Alright. Now that goes right there. Just like the other side. I'm gonna flip them in it just so I can see better. I did put the stand together just to make it a little easier to hold the ship. I guess that was step one. I just chose not to do it in step one. All right, there we go. Now, the only other piece, two pieces of furniture are the bed, like I said. We're gonna put that in on, uh, I guess it doesn't matter which side, but I'm gonna put him in right here.
tweezers. Okay, that is in. And then we have a table. Again, everything is just pushing a little bit harder than it needs to which I'm not sure if that's the decking or the fit of the ship. Um, usually scale decks is pretty darn on, but once in a while, you gotta elongate that hole just a little bit. Where'd my knife go? There it is. The only other thing I really want to look at, I might end up painting this, the um, more of the uh, oak color that I've been working on. Just think it'll look a little bit better. Um, and then I got to repaint the windows back here on the back, obviously. So they won't stay like that. But here we go, captain's quarters. You can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. And uh, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to touch this up and probably I'm going to probably end up doing the oak on this and touch up the white and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've made some pretty decent progress here since uh, last shooting. So there is now the captain's cabin. It's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Paintings on the wall look good. And that would be the view that you would get from looking inside. So I went on and began to do the cannons and as you can see they're all tied down as they're supposed to be um, I didn't really film for that because I really kind of knew it would be repetitive and not that exciting so let me adjust the light there I don't know if that's helping or not um, but I will kind of show what the process looks like um, as I get close to the last one being done on this side so, because I'm using scale decks, um, I'm running CA glue for the, uh, for the cannons. And basically, I'm just taking the cannon and hitting it with a little bit of glue on each wheel. I let that sit on the uh on the deck for a second kind of hold it down try to make sure i got my my uh line going about the same all the way across all right and then it's basically just taking your string and the directions say to go 60 inches i just kind of eyeballed it i think i'm gonna have just enough which is good So take a little knot right around here on the end of the cannon. Just hold it with your finger as so. Bring it in tight. And I knocked the ship off. That's beautiful. Only happens when you're filming. So we will re-glue. this in while it's tied down, which is a little bit more challenging, but we'll be all right. All right. I 
I swear I don't shake and move like that when I'm not on film. But here we are. All right, so you get that done. Let it sit a second like I did. Now I gotta re-pull this because it's closer. All right, there we go. Uh, let me zoom back out a little. Might have been too close. All right, now you can see along the wall, there is little, little uh, things that stick out right here. They have a small groove in them, not very big at all. That kind of holds your rope. So again, you take a knot, and basically work your way down to where you want to be. You could also do this with a pair of tweezers, which I think I'm going to do because it's taking longer than I want. Now, what I've been doing, and I went too far, what I've been doing is basically just bringing it down onto that part that sticks out. If you can't see this, I am sorry. It's just a little tedious doing the tying. Hold your finger over it once you get it on there. Still didn't get it on. It likes to slip out, but once you kind of get the feel for it, it goes fairly quick. I think I got this whole side done in about an hour time. Do, 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 do. Oh, I knocked the cannon broke. <laughs> We're batting a thousand here for this video filming. That's okay. Just gonna dab it with some glue on its two points. I'm oh, sorry, three points. And there we go. Okay. I've also found it's a little bit easier doing this in my lap, but for filming purposes, I'm doing it back up on the table. So, here we are. Okay, I'm going to use tweezers again. Some of these, I have been able to get the string to stay in the groove. Others I've had to glue. So we'll see what happens here if I ever get this one on while well, we're on video anyway. It's just harder to work at this angle too. Okay, and I like the tweezers. All right, so move that a little bit. There we go. Well, no, we don't. Okay. Now I got it on, and I just got to pull it tight. Yep. All right, there we go. I am going to hit it with just a little bit of glue, just to kind of hold it down. 
And again, I'm using CA glue. All right, last one. I'm just gonna glue the cannon on and then uh, hit pause from here. Okay, so that's basically how I did the cannons the whole way through on this side. Obviously, I still got this side to go. Um, I know that wall probably should have been white in here. Um, I'm okay with it being black. I, I think it looks okay. So it's fine with me. Um, I'm going to just tie this one down, and then uh, we're going to come up to the bow and work on the, um, the uh, foremast uh placement holder so I'll be back in a minute okay we're going to glue up our bow um, um, bow sprit uh, holder placement thing I forget what exactly it's termed as that goes in like that and with them, I did the same kind of oak look that I had on uh, other spots. And you won't really be able to see this, but whatever. I still want it to look that way. Now the, um, the next step also shows a bunch of, um, the, the, uh, what do you call it? Um, yard arms, the spare yard arms. So I have them painted up. I did them just in NATO brown. All the pictures of Constitution that I can find look about that color. So they should be fine. And they actually get lashed to the deck in between the two, um, the two grates. So you can see I already have the eyelets glued in. And they are ready. Okay. I want that to look like that. So they're already painted up, like I said. Now for these, I'm going to use uh, the uh, CA glue again because we're going right to wooden deck. And just kind of dipping it in along the glue. And I'm just randomly going to place them on the deck. And they're all different sizes, so you got some that are longer, some that are shorter. A couple of them are too long to fit between the grates, so they will go outside of the grate. But I'm not doing it with any kind of uh, regard for what size goes where. They're just going to be random. Okay... So, anyway, um, got a couple comments and feedback on the first video. So, uh, yes, from what I could find in research, Constitution is the only United States Navy ship that has sunk a ship currently in service. So, as crazy as that sounds, the uh, 200 and what is it, 30 or 25 year old, 26 year old, whatever it is, ship is the one that has currently got that record. I mean, I guess in some ways it's not a bad thing that we haven't been at war, really. I mean, we've been at war, but not a naval war per se. But, um, yeah, just an interesting historical fact that I found with the ship. Also, a, uh, a Facebook user had mentioned um, the cannons having a, I uh, forget what he called it, what he termed it, but um, the support that goes 
basically over the fulcrum so I did add them you can see them you can see them here right across they're kind of a just a metal bar that would hold the uh, the cannon on so it could angle so definitely appreciate that um, unfortunately I've had a lot of comments between the different pages that I'm on and uh, I unfortunately don't remember the name of the gentleman that pointed that out so if you're watching thank you very much I do appreciate it and I do read the comments so it is much appreciated um, other things I'm thinking about doing a little giveaway here um, and I'll do this as a, a short uh, short independent video where I think what I'm going to do is use the 3D printer and print up a cannon. Um, get it probably about that big, call it probably about six inches, somewhere in that neighborhood. And uh, we'll paint it up. Maybe I'll have Anthony even paint it. Uh, that's my son. Um, he did a really nice Titanic di di uh, diorama not long ago that uh, got a lot of likes on on pages so maybe even have him paint it up and uh, we'll do some kind of contest so the winner will get the cannon and um, I don't know hopefully that will help get a few extra people to uh, subscribe to the channel so uh, so they could potentially win that but we'll see here so Keep watch for that in the next couple days because I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it. And I'll show it before uh, before it's up for prize. But we'll make it look good. We'll definitely make it look... We'll look, we'll look the part. We'll put it that way. Um, so yeah, once we get these glued on, then we're going to lash some rope between the eyelets. Uh, I don't want that to happen. So we'll get the rope lashed across the eyelets and then uh, I think we're getting close to probably the end of this video. I'm not going to I'm not going to bore everybody with the uh, cannon tie down for the uh, for the opposite side of the deck here because there really isn't too too much exciting about that it really literally is gluing cannons down and lashing some rope around them it's like I showed a little bit ago it's uh, very much like the uh, lifeboat part for those of you at build model ocean liners I know I have quite a few of them subscribed already so essentially the cannons are the lifeboats just very repetitive nothing changes and uh, you do the same thing over and over again. But that is part of modeling. So, got I think two more to go here. Then we'll lash up the yard arms. And probably call it quits for this video at that point. So, Anyway, um, I will probably paint up a few people. Um, I might print a few extras too. The kit included 12 people. Um, if you've looked at any of my previous ships, you'll kind of see that I have a thing for putting people on them. I mean, granted these came with the kit, but pretty much all of my previous models have people on them. I just like the realism that it gives. And, uh, just think they look cool all right so there we go yard arms are on now we're going to take some rope and tie it in through an eyelet I can't wait till this new string from uh, the Czech Republic gets here I'm very much looking forward to this um, I mean this stuff's okay but it, it ain't great it does not tie real well and uh, has a lot of curl to it. So hopefully uh, hopefully his stuff comes out a little nicer. 
but from what I've read and seen, it really looks like it will, so very much looking forward to it. Okay. I'm just going to cut that. Well, I don't know. I'm going to touch it, or cut it probably about 10 inches or so, maybe a foot. So that way I have a little extra just in case. Now we're just going to loop it through the eyelet. See what I mean with it just wanting to curl back out all the time. Alright. And we're going to come back here. And we're going to come into that one. I think I'm going to do an X pattern over it too. Not sure if that's how it really is but it would make sense in my mind. And again, I'm not in the Navy. And most of the people that are probably weren't on this ship. So I'm sure there's somebody out there that will tell me if I'm right or wrong. And that's okay. I'm good with it. See, this string, like I said, it just, it does not want to stay taut. So, it's a lot of pulling it back in. Pulling it again. I'll probably hit it with a little CA glue just to get it where I want it. I could see this stuff being a nightmare tying it on the upper decks once we start doing rigging. Just with how it already behaves. <laughs> Alright, and I think I might do a little rope loop here. Maybe. Eh, no, I'm not. I'll do rope loops up on the... Uh, up by the uh, cannonades when we do the upper deck. You'll never see it down here, so it's just going to be a waste of time. And, uh, yep. I don't like it. It's not going to tie tight. So, I have a feeling I'm going to end up having to glue it again. Which seems to be more so the case with this than not, with this rope. Yep. So, anyway, I'm going to get that glued down. And uh, I guess I'll pretty much end this segment for the video. Um, next time around, you'll kind of see what the results end up with that. I'm not sure if I like them. I might do more than one lash going across because uh, it just doesn't look real good. Yep, I'm cutting it off. So, yeah, I guess I'm not finishing the video quite yet. I'm going to go a little bit farther because I'm going to end up doing multi-lash back and forth. And I think that'll maybe give me a better effect where it doesn't look all slacked out. So here we go again. Sorry I'm putting you through this, but I didn't like it.
Okay, get it into the eyelet. There we go. See, and I don't want to break the eyelet either because these are just the plastic ones. Now, our friend in Czech Republic will be sending me some metal ones, but for the lower decks, I'm not using the metal. So, unfortunately, I gotta use the kit supplied stuff right now. And I know they're not as strong. Okay, I kind of like that better. That's giving me a better effect. Now I'm going to do a cross over to here. And then... Tie it off on there and I will add more rope. Yep. That's how we're going to do it. It'll be alright. After all. I firmly believe you can't really screw up a model. You can redo them. You can make them look your own. There's not really a said way that you have to do everything. Okay, so we're going to retie again. I'm going to get myself a little bit more rope this time around. And I guess part of the other good part of watching me go through redoing this, if you like how I end up doing it better than what I did the first time, I guess you learned something. If not, you can just skip ahead and, well, I don't care either way. But for those that are interested, you get to see it. I think in my previous videos on a lot of like the Lusitania and the um, and the United States rebuild, I would kind of show what I was doing, but I didn't actually do much of it on the video. So I am trying to get a little bit better about doing that um, within reason. I'm not trying to bore people either, and not trying to get people just to stop watching but you got to kind of do a balance I guess you'd say so I'm finding that the videos for this build are going to be a little bit longer than what my previous ones were um, but I think it's giving better information or more information anyway come on go through There we go. Ooh, I don't like that. Maybe that'll be okay. Yeah, I kind of do like that, actually. Okay, we're going to do one more across here. And then we're going to come and do our other diagonal. Really should turn the compressor off because not painting anything right now, but yeah. Now I'm gonna lash not to the eyelet, but I'm gonna come around the string there. And I might have to go to the eyelet first to get what I'm trying to do. I want to kind of bunch them together so they get an effect of more ropes holding one piece, kind of. Or not one piece, but well, you'll see what I'm trying to do here in a second. Go on in. There might be too many in here. I don't think so, but it could be. So 
sorry if you can't see right now. Just trying to get this to feed through a minute. Or not. It may have too many rope in it. Okay, well. My next plan, we'll go back to the first plan. But I'll kind of tie it off. And that should hold. First, before I get this to tie, I want to make sure that I'm pretty taut with the ropes back here. Yeah. And that's not what I wanted to happen. Nope. Okay, there we go. Pull it back. There. That's better. So now I'm going to kind of do the same thing back and forth. And, uh, Going under the eyelet over here, under and around anyway. Just hoping this gives the effect that I'm looking for, but we'll, we will see in a minute. to do one final tie here because one of those is not tight and it's that one all right so how I'm gonna address that I have a little bit of a loop right there with some slack I'm gonna bring it through there and then down to that eyelet hopefully pull it over and kill some of the slack and if we don't tie the cannon up first yeah mm -hmm. well you can always do this routine Kind of how I figure it, these uh, these yard arms would have had to have quite a bit of lashing down to kind of hold them, because they're basically just sitting there on the deck. Alright, now we're going to come back around here, and we're going to do a couple up the other way on the diagonal. The good thing is, I don't really need to stress over this too much because there is a lifeboat that covers it. This is kind of just a little bit of experimenting and practice, really, when it comes down to it. And then you, the viewer, can choose to do similar or not do similar, and uh, yeah. We all learn something from it. It's either the right way or the wrong way, but in any case, it will be my way, or my ship's way. Okay. I'm going to try one. 
last little knot in here to kind of pull this all together. Yeah. I'm okay with that. What I'm going to do is dab it with some CA now while I'm pulling it tight. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side, probably off camera, just to work this a little bit better. And this is getting a little long on the uh, video at this point, so. I'll uh, just get this to kind of hold where I'm putting it. And then I'll, I'll say we are done at that point for this video. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, and um, hopefully that last uh, little segment there didn't bore you. Um, please make sure that uh, you subscribe, and uh, like I said, look for a short in the next uh, day or two for a large cannon, and um, that will probably be a giveaway. So again, thank you very much, and uh, have a great day.